hello everybody welcome to the channel in this video we are going to discuss something really really important um microsoft is coming out with a new windows version called windows 11 in october of 2021 which after the filming of this video is this year somebody leaked the operating system online it was supposed to be uh, for internal use only someone leaked it and you're asking what is a leaked operating system that term means somebody got a hold of it and put it out online so I managed to get a copy of it of the ISO someone had created for it now just to warn you, this is for educational purposes only. I do not recommend you use this on a computer you use on a daily basis. I do not recommend that you use it as your main operating system. I do not recommend using it in a production environment. And I also do not recommend that if you're fixing somebody's computer to use it. Now, with that said... Um, use VMware if you only have one computer to test this out. Um, I am putting it on real hardware on my test machine because I want to see what it does. Um, I'm doing this because as a technician you want to figure out the new software. So I did download it. So without further ado, let's get started. There we go, just like Windows 10. And as you see, it says install Windows 11. Um, I am not gonna help to make the installation better. So I, what's nice is I can, on this particular one, remember this is still a test version of the operating system. So you can change how the setup downloads and updates I am not going to do that. I'm just going to do the install and use some of the OS just to test out and see how it works. So just like Windows 10, you want to click Next, and it's going to check for updates. Now, now th this is going to act a little wonky because it's the test version of it. So what, what's happening here is basically I'm going to have an unknown operating system on this computer. Now, this PC can't run Windows 11 because the PC must support TPM and it must support secure boot, which it actually does. So I'm going to click back here. I'm not going to do not right now. All right, so so let's do more requirements here. So here's what I can do, since it's not working on real hardware. I have two choices. I could install Windows 10 in VMware, which I'll probably do, or I could set it up as a USB boot device, which I will do. So. Give me just one second and I will figure this out.
All right, I am back. Um, I had to take care of a few issues, so I am back. Um, unfortunately, the thumb drive did not work, so I had to put it to a DVD. But before I keep going, uh, I'm, I am going to try to do this on the real computer hardware because I had to try to do it on a VMware thinking that it would work. So I'm not going to update it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot off the disk. So we go to restart. And if it reads the disk, we can boot off it. Uh, if not, what I'll do is I'll go to um, the virtual machine and do it. So hopefully, well, all right, so I'm going to have to go to the virtual machine because it did not boot off that disk. Uh, a lot of people are doing uh, the update that way. So some people have gotten it to work on real hardware. Unfortunately, my computers are too old. And you're going to say, why don't you get new ones? Uh, I will at some point. It's just the fact that money is a factor right now and all that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up VirtualBox. I saved the state of the virtual machine. So I am going to boot that up. So with the virtual machine, some stuff doesn't, I don't want to say doesn't get recognized, but what happens is there's some stuff that does not need to be read. So on the real hardware, as you saw earlier in this video, uh, you had to have TPM 2.0, which this board doesn't have, and secure boot. So what I'm hoping is that the virtual machine does not need that. So let me just double check something, make sure I have the right disk in the drive. All right, I do. All right, so once it reads the disk again, I will open it and we are going to try to update it. So I'm in the virtual machine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. And I am going to click yes. It's obviously going to take a little longer since we're on a virtual machine. So I'm just checking to make sure that the disk is being read. And it is. So if this works on a virtual machine, that'll be OK too. I just want to show off the operating system. And I don't know why, but every time I set up a virtual box, it does not like the USB. I'll have to figure that out. It's actually moving pretty quick for a virtual machine. I'm very, very surprised.
Okay, just like before, I'm not going to do anything else. So what I am going to do is just click next. So I have the same problem. There must be four gigs of memory. So here's how I could fix this. This is the problem that I'm having with the virtual machine. So what I got to do now is look at the settings of the machine. So I'll have to figure that out. So here's how you do this. We're going to close. Just power it off. Click OK. We go to machine settings. We go to system. All right, so there we go. So I set it up for that. So now, motherboard, base memory. Now what I'm doing is basically using all the resources towards the virtual machine. Now that is not actually a wise thing to do, but for the sake of this video I am going to do it so processor to alright so here we go Let's see what I can do. Ah! It's going to work. Look at that. So I can get this to work. It's just going to be a virtual machine, and we are going to see how well this works. next this looks like Windows 10 now remember this is a leaked version of Windows so you gotta keep in mind that some stuff may not be right but that is okay so we're going to do install now let's do full screen I'm just going to leave it alone. So here's what you have. You have Windows Home 64-bit, Windows Home N, Single Language, Education, Education Pro. 
Pro Education, Pro Info Workstation. Ooh, that's that's pretty cool. So these are all the stuff that Microsoft has created for Windows 11. So for this, I am going to do Pro. You click Pro, click Next. And just like that, we're just going to delete it, make it all one, next. Looks a lot like Windows 10, doesn't it? So, it will take a little bit of time, which is okay. But this is absolutely really, really cool that I got this to work on a virtual machine. I had to stress out the main system a bit, but that's fine. So, what I'll do is I'll keep this on here, and what I want to do is I want to explore the operating system a little bit. Now, as I said, this is for educational purposes only. This isn't to use on a daily use machine. So once this is done, we're going to see some really, really cool stuff. So, I'm curious to see how different Windows 11 is compared to 10. Now, I've seen pictures and stuff like that, and it looks a little different. But, as someone who works on these things, fixes computers all the time, you want to know a little bit about the operating system before it actually comes out. Why is that? The reason is is if someone has a question I want to be able to go hey look according to this this is what normally happens now you have that area where it's like between where it's supposed to happen and not supposed to happen and, and there's that what I like to call that area where it's like um okay this doesn't make sense
have to keep touching the mouse otherwise the monitor will uh, turn off and I don't want to I don't want it to And just like Windows 10, it is installing the updates. And the virtual machine is restarting, not the physical computer. Let it go. You notice they turn the Windows logo to face frontward. It's not on an angle like Windows 10. That is, this is good because as someone who works on these things, like I stated before, if I see this, I know what it is. If I see it on an angle, that means it's Windows 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm just... It's getting the system ready. And I'll try to do a Windows update on it and see what happens. So, Still getting the system ready. Now this is going to be really cool when it comes back up.
There we go, the hard drive is working. The virtual machine is working. That thing you see at the bottom is called a pin wheel. Now, what I wish they would do is make it so you can customize it and change each dot on here to a different color. So, everything's going pretty smooth right now. Now, from what I saw, there's going to be a logo that shows up. It almost, it's very, very Linux-like. That's what you're seeing right now. Now, unfortunately, I'm running this virtually, so it's going to take some time for it to come up. But here's the cool thing about this. It looks very, very Linux-like, which I really, really like. So, U.S. That is where I'm at. I'm in the U.S. I do have a U.S. keyboard. Different countries have different keyboards. Um, in the U.S., we use something called a QWERTY keyboard. I know in Germany, because I was talking to somebody from there who uh, needed some help with some software, and I helped them, they use a Dvorak keyboard. Now, what's cool, here's what I like about Windows. You can add multiple keyboard layouts. So if I wanted to, I could add multiple keyboard layouts. I don't recommend that for if you um, unless you're learning like the region of certain things this is really cool I like the way this looks this is very interactive very very Linux like and I very really like it Set up for personal use. Because this is obviously in my bedroom. Uh, no. Offline account. That's going to confuse people. I'm just going to put limited experience because I'm just using this to test. And as usual, I name all my machines test. I always turn these off. Now, the experience, you can create your own experience in any operating system. This is really, really cool. I like this. This is one of the cooler things I have seen from a Windows operating system. As long as I've been using Windows, this is still from Windows 10. Uh, 
I started using actually the first operating system I used was MS DOS. Then I used Windows 3.1 when I was in uh, going through elementary school. Remember, I grew up in the 90s. And then in 95, 98, my dad had 2000, I didn't. XP, I had Vista 7, I used 8 a little bit, and then I had 10. Now, I like this. In the background here, this reminds me of a Linux installation. So, what I'm thinking here is, Windows 11 is going to be more like a Linux. Even though it's Windows, it's going to be more like a Linux OS. Funny enough, I actually know someone that says, please keep your P PC on and plugged in. Funny enough, when I was getting my A-plus certification, there was a guy in the class. As it was doing this, he unplugged the computer. We got really mad at him. And he goes, why are you guys upset? I said, while it's updating, when you unplug it, it's going to corrupt the operating system. He goes, no, it won't. Yes, it will. Plugged it back in, turned it on, Windows was gone. Because the updates up core, update core components of the operating system. I think I may have stated that in another video. So, if there are updates, which means Microsoft already has the updates for this operating system. This is really, really cool. Wow. See, this is remind you of OpenSUSE Linux and I really like this because I know a lot of people that need shortcuts like this uh, my grandparents love shortcuts they don't want to do with all the stuff they would love this you go down this is your start that's it right there this is Linux like so now what we do is we're going to go into settings This is left over from Windows 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if there's updates for this operating system. Now, if there's updates for this operating system, yeah, there's updates for this operating system. You know what that means? That means that Microsoft have already created updates. It put it on the Windows update server for Windows. See, but here's the crazy thing. It's a security intelligence update for Microsoft Defender antivirus for Windows 10 version next for 64. So I'm not going to do that just yet. We're going to explore the operating system a little more. All right, so let's see if certain commands work. I am going to type... Oh, you have apps. They went Linux with this. This is great. I like this. I like this a lot. So this is your start, search. That's your desktop views, folder, Microsoft Edge, second version two, in your Microsoft store. You still have your taskbar. So let's see if I can call up. We'll go to all. So there we go. So we're going to explore this a little bit. So let's go to apps and see what they got. This is all that they have. This is snipping tool, this is a calculator, and that's your settings. So, and this is the build version. So,
what I want to do is I want to call up CMD, which is the command. Prompt. Let's scroll up. There's your recycle bin. That's very Linux-like, too. I like that. So let's download something and see what we can download. All right, so this is the same as the Microsoft Edge on Windows 10. They changed it on Windows 10. Complete setup. I'm going to scroll up. Oh, I forgot. I'm in a virtual machine here. There we go. So let's go to Google. Let's do one so we're going to download opera web browser here and we're going to see what happens open it up and we're going to install it Pretty neat, huh? Alright, so while that's installing, let's search a little more and see what's going on. That comes up. Oh. Oh, Opera came up. Whoops. And I. There. I keep forgetting I'm on a virtual machine. Uh, let's do CMD. Alright, so Opera works. You could put things in startup. So this is all the stuff. That's what I'm looking for. Meanwhile, it's there. Hmm. All right, so let's go back. This is really, really cool. Meanwhile, this is the leaked version, so Let's go back. I'm going to exit out of here. Scroll down. Start. Oh, look at this. Here's what we have. We have Microsoft Edge, Mail, Calendar, Microsoft Store, Photo Settings, Office, Xbox, Solitaire, Spotify, Netflix, To-Do List, News, Pick Art, Pix art, excuse me, Twitter, Messenger, Photoshop Elements and Calculator. So let's click Microsoft Office and see what happens. 
Okay, so that's Microsoft Cloud. I do not have one. I am going to go back and we're going to do the Windows updates and see how that handles it. Windows update. We're going to download it and we're going to see how well it downloads it. That might take a little bit. So far, so good. Here's what I'm going to try. I'm going to go to Opera. And I am going to search for a command prompt for this to see if previous versions of commands will work. So we're going to go to Google. So we're going to download this. I'm not going to buy it. I'm just going to download it. We're going to test stuff. That's all I'm doing. We're going to install something on here. I'm going to run it anyway. So I don't recommend doing this, but I'm going to run it anyway because since it's just a test machine, who really cares? the user account control alright so we're going to minimize and we're going to go to the start menu That wasn't a setup. That was a setup.
Oh, look at that. You have paint. Sticky notes. That is a Linux trait. Uh, 